I recently attended my friend's wedding that had a photo booth. Everyone was using it throughout their reception and seemed to be having a blast. I noticed the owner didn't really have to do much work and it got me thinking, how much money did he make from this event and how much work truly goes into running a photo booth? Today we're talking to Josh from the YouTube channel Photo Booth International who is a photo booth expert and has over 10 years of experience. At his peak, he had over 20 photo booths and did over 800 events in a single year. We're gonna see how much profit you could potentially make from photo booths and what is needed to get started making money from photo booths today. Also, a huge thanks to Josh for all the great advice and tips during the interview. Please show him some love and check out his great videos all about photo booths and everything you need to know in order to get started. Now, let's jump right into the interview. All right, so we have Josh right here, and we're just gonna jump right into the interview. And the first one to start off the interview is, how long have you been in the photo booth business for? So I built my first photo booth in uh, November of 2012. So I've been in the industry now for over 10 years. Oh, this year will be the 10th year, actually, yeah. Wow, that's awesome. And how many photo booths do you currently own? Uh, so right now, uh, so at our peak when we were crushing it, I think 2015, we're, we had about 20 photo booths. We did 800 events in one year. That was insane. What's like your, your clients typically using the photo booths for? Like what kind of events? Um, we carved out a niche in the, in the corporate events where we were doing a lot of trade shows and expos. So imagine a company goes to an expo, right? And they spend, you know, 30,000, 40,000 on the 10 by 10 space to exhibit their products. And so they obviously want more people to come into their space so they can sell them their products and show it off. But that's just one, uh, you know, a type of event. I mean, there's weddings, obviously that's the biggest one, quinceaneras, uh, bar mitzvahs, bat mitzvahs, baby showers, graduation parties, um, Christmas parties, massive. We did like 80 events in, in December. So there's a lot of, um, as a, you know, you can pick, pick and choose whichever one. There's a lot of different events uh, that's out there and uh, a lot of money to be made. What about, would you say, what kind of like models of photo booths should people look at uh i guess like different other companies out there other models is there certain ones that is easier to use when you're first getting started um well you can piece it together and you know i like to always say you pay in time or you pay in money on the low end you can end up spending five thousand for the chloe on the high end you can end up spending uh twelve thousand for the mirror four photo booth that's a tall uh, about six foot full length uh, mirror booth but yeah, kind of moving on to our next question. Is there anything you wish you would have known before getting started with the photo booth industry? Yeah, I wish I would have, um, like, I mean, of course, you know, learning a little bit about, like, how to read a profit and loss statement, how to read a balance sheet. Um, starting off as entrepreneurs, you just want to focus on, like, I just want to do what I like. I want to make money. I want to, you know, if I mow lawns, I want to mow lawns. If I clean pools, I want to clean pools. If I do photo booths, I want to do photo booths. And, I, and like, when people say, oh, my accountant hand, handles that. If you're starting a business, you need to be responsible. You are responsible for everything. So networking, don't hire friends and family, even though it seems like a good idea. <laughs> Uh, that's almost never worked out for me, except my wife. She works with me. Uh, yeah, those are some of the major ones. Yeah, things that, those are some really good tips. Um, what would you say, how many hours like a week do you take to like manage the photo booth business, I guess, now? And then also when you originally got started? Yeah, so so right now we don't do any any rentals. Right now we focus on, on helping people get started with the rentals. So, uh, I mean, when, when you have a team set up, on average, you know, it depends. I would recommend people to do the sales you know you can't really outsource sales if you don't know how to do sales go read grant cardone's book you know he teaches you all about sales and sign up for cardone university you can focus on the sales you can hire people to go work the events um you can hire a virtual assistant to manage the back end of the business like sending the contracts sending the the designing the photo layouts you know for the templates that kind of stuff so i i think you can manage a six-figure photo booth business you know 10 20 hours a week uh, you know, that's outside of actually working the events if you're not working the events. What about, is there, I guess, any time with required with like servicing or repairing the machines or is that, you know, pretty set to go from day one? No, it's just updating your computer and, you know, downloading any updates. You know, that that's pretty much it. There's not really any servicing. It's just a printer and a computer with the camera. So it's pretty simple. Okay, that's good to hear. Um, what about like where do you advertise in like your area for your photo booths for rent? Is I know you talked about like YouTube, Instagram. Is it more so like social media or is it 
other avenues in order to really get customers, especially customers that you're looking to get maybe in that high end niche? Um, I recommend starting off with Facebook ads. We didn't have that, you know, 10 years ago. We all we had was Craigslist. So we would like create multiple accounts and like repost every few minutes and hours and stuff. But yeah, Facebook ads, I mean, you can do it right from your phone. Um, five bucks a day, you can do an ad that uh, plays a video of someone with a photo booth. And then if somebody wants to inquire, they send you a message to your, your business page. Uh, so you don't even need a website nowadays. Like it's it's so crazy, you know. It's so easy with Facebook. I mean, you just set the radius uh, and you say, hey, target people interested in weddings and engagement rings and, uh, you know, uh, wedding photographers. You just like put those three and like you can get leads right away. Okay. What about, is there any, I guess, free avenues you would suggest? Maybe like was, does Craigslist still work or Facebook Marketplace or like even offer up? You put like- Yeah, a- yeah. The, I'm sorry. I, I totally forgot about that. Yeah. So you got, uh, you got offer up, you got free up, uh, um, I'm sorry, Marketplace. Um, there's a, there's another site called Thumbtack. That one is paid though, but it's good. You can get a wedding wire, the knot, Yelp, uh, Google, my business, and then YouTube. Uh, and then also outreach, reach out to local venues, say, Hey, I'm a new photo booth uh, company. Uh, I'll do a free event for you so you can see my services. And then would you consider adding me to your vendor list or recommending me to your customers? And that's a good way to get your foot in the door, take them donuts, you know, just, not everything can be like DM and message, you know, you gotta have some human, it's a human element, you know? Definitely, yeah, more so, yeah, kind of putting your name out there and getting that go-getter attitude. Um, what about, I know like a big question I'm gonna get is how much money can you make in a month with like a single photo booth and then also say a photo booth business owner with multiple photo booths? Yeah, I would say, um, I mean, a single photo booth, you know, you can probably in a month, um, let's say five to 10,000, you know, and then you just multiply that by how many boots you wanna get. On top of that, how many events would you say per month that is to or or to earn like the five to ten thousand then? Uh, around ten, yeah, ten, ten to twenty, somewhere around there. Okay, is that basically? Would you say every weekend is filled? So like Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Yeah, Friday, Saturday, Saturday, Sunday. They may be. You may have. You may have two events on a Saturday. Like we would do a baby shower in the morning, right? And then afternoon we got a wedding. Okay. You know what I mean? Something like that. And then on the Sunday, maybe like a church. You go into a church event. What about, is there any monthly expenses? Uh, say if you're operating it as yourself and then also operating it with like a team of people, uh, what are they and how much are they? Yeah, so I would pay uh, like employees per an event. You know, it'd be X amount per an event. It could be a hundred bucks or 80 bucks or 150, depending on, you know, where you are in the country, that kind of stuff. Uh, monthly expenses, your insurance, your, you know, your, your photo booth financing payment. If you have that, if you're operating from your house, it's really good. Cause you know, you have an LLC set up, you get a lot of tax write-offs from, your, uh, you know, income paper. It costs about uh, $250 for 1400 prints. 1400 prints will last you about, uh, eight to 10 events or, uh, roughly around there. So, uh, you know, not, not super crazy, uh, right there. That's pretty much it, you know, outside of advertising costs and then your gas and you know, stuff like that. But that's all, you know, scaling with the amount of events that you have. It sounds like it's pretty reasonable to say that you could replace your nine to five job with running your own photo booth and setting your own hours. Is that true then? Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, photo booth boss, he quit his, his job. He was working at district manager at 7-Eleven, making 85,000 a year, plus company car, all gas paid, you know, all that stuff. He left that job to do his business because he wanted more time with his family. He wanted more freedom. He wanted to control how much he wanted to make, right? You want to make more money? Just go work more events. So the next question I have, is it too late to get started with photo booths? And is the market too saturated? Uh, it's not. You know, events are going to, events and weddings are part of human society. That's not going to go away for sure. Uh, as far as being saturated, you know, there's more people with iPad boots, but there's not a lot of people who have invested good money to, to service the high-end events. I'll tell you that much, you know. Anyone can get an iPad, you know, and as, since the day we started, people are like, well, I can just take a photo with my phone, uh, but it's, it's the experience that you're selling when the family gets in front of the camera and they're all giggling and laughing. That's not a phone's not going to get that experience, you know, and, um, you know, they get the high quality photos, you know, 2020 took out a lot of people in, in the, in the market. Um, so it was like a reset. So it's like a, it was like reset everybody, right? Some people left uh, cause they couldn't survive. Uh, so that opened up more opportunity. And then when you got more opportunity, I mean, when you got a shortage of suppliers and then the, the, there was a record of 
uh, events that got postponed in 2020 that got pushed over to 21 and 22. And that's kind of what we're seeing right now. Uh, so you've got increased demand and there's a shortage of suppliers. So Yeah, that's a great point. What about who would you recommend to not try uh, running a photo booth business? I recommend not trying if you are not willing to do whatever it takes to be successful. If you like having the comfort of having a nine to five and, you know, have security and and having that paycheck come in every two weeks, then you can, you know, it's not for you because in order to be successful, I mean, you have to do whatever it takes. If it means you got to get into the camera and you're going to say, hey, guys, this is Josh's photo booth. Here's my photo booth. Here's my Chloe photo booth. It has a beautiful mirror here. It has a camera here. If you can't make a simple video like that to send to a potential client when somebody asks, inquires about your service, then you shouldn't be doing it. Yeah, I agree. I think that's a great mindset to have. What about kind of just wrapping up the whole interview? Do you have any final tips for anyone who's looking to get started? Yeah, I mean, uh, learn as much as you can and take action. It could have been the thing that you could have blown up with five years ago. You know, that so... Uh, you know, speed has always been a big uh, indicator for success for me. You know, I mean, uh, you know, go fast and break things, right? I think Mark Zuckerberg said that. Yeah, I think that's a great point. I think that's a, a great point to end on as well. But yes, yeah, I wanted to thank you for your time, Josh. I feel like I learned a lot all about photo booths and I'm sure my inter my viewers did as well. But we'll be leaving your links down below in the description box if anyone wants to see more of your videos or check out your website. So thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Uh, thank you. All right, take care. Bye.